Unwanted body hair and its constant upkeep can be incredibly time consuming, costly and sometimes painful. With so many options for hair removal available, it can often be difficult to decide which option is the safest and most effective for you. The key benefit of laser hair removal is long-term hair reduction, which potentially saves time and money on alternative hair removal methods such as waxing, shaving, epilating and threading. In addition to aesthetic benefits, there are some medical benefits. These include prevention of ingrown hairs, which can sometimes lead to boils and abscesses, prevention of shaving rashes and prevention of pyelonidal sinuses, a condition that can occur in both men and women. In this video, you'll see me using both my medical grade laser and intense pulse light handpiece to treat my clients. Both laser and IPL work in the same way for the purposes of hair removal. The light from my laser or IPL enters the skin and is absorbed by the melanin contained in our hair shaft. The absorption of this light is converted into heat energy, which causes the hair shaft and follicle to heat up. This causes an interruption in the hair growth cycle, disables the follicle and causes the hair to fall out. This can happen anywhere between one to three weeks after treatment. One of the main objectives for light-based hair removal using either laser or IPL is to achieve this critical temperature in the hair follicle whilst not heating up the surrounding skin to a temperature that could cause damage. In our clinic, we use the British award-winning Linton Lumina. This amazing piece of medical grade technology enables us to treat all skin types safely. Our IPL handpiece allows me to treat those clients with lighter skin, fairer and finer hairs. Whilst our long pulse MD YAG laser is great for treating those darker skin types that have a naturally higher melanin content. It is because of this that it's really important to maintain your natural skin tone when you are undergoing laser hair removal. Whether caused by sun exposure, sun beds or fake tan, tanning of any kind will darken the skin, making it harder for our laser or IPL to distinguish between the melanin in the skin and the melanin in the hair. Our laser penetrates deeper than our IPL, picking up only the hair and not the melanin in the skin, thus significantly reducing the likelihood of burns for those darker skinned clients. Think of the melanin in your hair as a black item of clothing on a summer's day. It absorbs all the sun's heat, whereas a white t-shirt reflects the heat and keeps you cool. Typically, this is why people with dark hair tend to respond better to laser hair removal. Laser hair removal is not effective for those who have light blonde or grey hair, as they simply don't have enough pigment in their hair follicle for the laser beam to be absorbed. In order to understand why multiple laser sessions are required to be effective, it is necessary to understand how laser treatment works and its relation to the growth cycle of hair. Whilst the hair is in the anagen, or active growing stage, the cells in the papilla divide to produce new hair fibres and the follicle buries itself into the dermal layer of the skin to provide nourishment for the strand. This can last anything from one to four years and is followed by the catagen stage. The catagen stage, also called transitional stage, lasts approximately two weeks, during which the follicle shrinks and the papilla detaches, cutting the hair strand off from its blood supply. As the follicle shrinks, it pushes the hair upwards. During the telogen or resting stage, the follicle remains dormant and this can last from one to four months. At some point, the follicle will begin to grow again. The hair base will break free from the root and the hair will be shed. Within a couple of weeks, the new hair will begin to emerge and the growing or anagen phase then begins its cycle again.
The hair growth cycle is significant because laser hair removal treatment is only effective on actively growing hair, i.e. those hairs that are in the anagen stage, which is also when the melanin is at its most abundant. Unfortunately, all hair is not in the same growing phase at the same time. So when an area is treated, only a percentage of hair follicles will be affected. Depending on the area being treated, it can take anywhere from between five to 10 treatments to get a significant hair reduction. Areas of coarse, dark hair, like the lower legs and bikini, usually respond well to laser and tend to need less treatments whereas the face can be one of the more persistent areas and may require more sessions. As hair on the face tends to grow more quickly than hair on the body, laser hair removal appointments for the face are spaced every four weeks, whilst treatments for the body are spaced at six week intervals. As you progress through your course of treatments, you should find that you have less hair growth and the hair that does grow appears to grow more slowly. The general consensus is that laser hair removal hurts much less than waxing. It's often compared to the feeling of your skin being snapped by a rubber band. But it's also largely based on your personal pain tolerance and the specific area of the body being lasered. In our clinic, we use our cryo cooler to blow cold air on the area, both during and after treatment. This keeps the skin cool and helps to reduce any discomfort. We get amazing results from both our medical grade laser and IPL. The hairs successfully destroyed during laser treatment will not return. However, it's worth noting, due to the normal hair growth cycle, it's possible for dormant hair follicles to produce new hairs. These are usually finer, lighter and softer than the original hairs and can be easily managed by having the occasional laser top-up session. If you have any questions about laser hair removal, just get in touch. I hope you found this useful and I look forward to seeing you all in the clinic soon.